YouTube game so welcome back to another YouTube video where today I'm going to be talking about another um, movie in this installment of Reminiscent Reviews. From Reminiscent Reviews is a movie where I talk about a movie that came out in the past and tell you my thoughts on it. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, but yes guys, let's start talking about this movie. As you can see from the title, this movie is called Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. This movie stars, um, uh, the actors Tom Hanks, uh, Claire Foy's in it. Um, oh, sorry, not Claire Foy. Sandra Bullock, I don't know why I said Claire Foy. She would have done very well though. I think, but yes, no, Claire Foy does very good, uh, as we'll get into, uh, later in this review. So, the main plot synopsis for, um, uh, uh, incredibly close, and extremely loud and incredibly close, um, is this, uh, son, had a very close relationship with his father, played by Tom Hanks, um, and, uh, 9-11 comes, and his dad walked in the building where the, tw one of the Twin Towers, and he died in the Twin Towers, um, and he, the boy finds after he dies that he left this key and he has to try to find what unlocks this key and there's another adventure that comes with that but it's mainly about this key and what does it unlock it definitely is a um um a mystery story which i was very interested to see how they would, um, go about this, um, but I gotta say, they did it very well. Let's talk about the acting, first of all. Um, Tom Hanks plays a dad in this movie. Um, he's good, and if you don't know me, you know that Tom Hanks is my favorite actor of all time, I think. He does a wonderful job in all of his movies. The only reason I say it's good in this movie is since he plays the dad and he does once he passed away in this movie. Um, in this like two hour runtime, uh, there's only so much like backstory, um, scenes that you can do, uh, with him. So yes, he doesn't have that much to do in the movie, but when he's in it, he does perfectly fine. He's good, but he's definitely not the standout. Um, he's, yeah, but one, uh, one that I, uh, was kind of skeptical about going in, I thought this movie looked very good from the trailer, but I could see that the, uh, boy playing the main character, um, I forgot the actor's name, but, um, he, I could, uh, imagine him being, like, kind of flat in his performance, and I didn't really see what they were going for until I saw the movie. Apparently, this was his first movie, uh, movie role, um, and pretty much his only acting role uh ever since um but apparently he was found on jeopardy and uh they liked him so much on jeopardy that um they put him in this movie um so um i feel like they did uh that because his character is very much a know-it-all pretty much he's a very small kid um, he, uh, definitely has this, um, classic kid in these mystery movies that you've seen a lot before if you've seen these movies. 
uh, kind of a subdued kind of, uh, not very, um, not like a very adult kid, not like a very kitty kid, if that makes sense. And, um, that's, uh, kind of what I liked about this movie. This movie, although I've seen kind of this, uh, character before, I feel like it worked for the humor in this movie. Um, the humor is very well written in this movie. Um, he, um, he, he definitely, the, the humor in this movie is definitely very, um, kind of subdued and kind of that serious humor that, um, they say stuff, um, kind of seriously that's, uh, funny. So if you like that kind of humor, it's kind of hard to explain. But yes, humor is subjective. So, yes, but it definitely has the same kind of humor throughout the whole thing, which worked for me, not the whole time. Like, there were definitely some that didn't work for me. But there were moments in the other that had me chuckling, which I really enjoyed. Um, let's see, Sandra Bullock in this movie, definitely probably my favorite performance in this movie. Um, the boy who plays the boy in this movie and Sandra Bullock definitely are grieving after their father, uh, his father's death. Uh, and although this movie Definitely has a tone to it that's not very, like, energetic, um, or has very emotion to it at all, and I still think that works. It definitely still works when it needs to be emotional, and let me say, Sandra Bullock and this kid, especially Sandra Bullock, is very, very good at bringing emotion to this movie. I could feel for these characters so much, even though I could, it's definitely a story I've seen before. It has some plot, familiar plot elements, but since the performances are so good, I could still feel for these characters. Um, and it's still a very sad subject just to know that it's 9-11. Um, but yes, guys, those are my quick thoughts on, um, Extremely Loud and, cr and Incredibly Close. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the movie. Don't forget to like and subscribe again. Don't forget to hit that bell notification if you, uh, want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to, um, if you have any... Uh, suggestions for videos for me to do in the future, let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.